This is a short tutorial on how to recode an ordinal or nominal variable. So I'm looking at this same data set and this Pew data on adult internet life from February 2012. And so some of, most of the questions are sort of yes, no questions or degree, discrete questions. And so this will be very easy to use in a crosstab. However, um, this question here, which search engine do you use most often? So what this was is an open-ended question, and then they recoded it into all the different things that people responded. So if I look at the values for it, um, the answers were Google, Bing, Yahoo Search, Ask, AOL, My Web Search, Lyco Stockpile, some of these I've never heard of, right? And so this is like almost too many categories. If I wanted to put this into a crosstabs, it would be huge. So one thing I might want to do is to just recode this into sort of the most common options that people selected. And what I want to do first is to look at how people answered this question. So I'm going to move this into the variable box. I just want to get a little frequency distribution here to figure out what search engine people use most often. So it looks like Google, Bing, and Yahoo Search were some of the most common ones used. Right, so if I'm going to pick a few, I'll want those to be some of the ones that I look at. Some of these other ones, like it's great that three people used my web search, but I really can't do a whole lot with that. Um, you know, I can't explore the demographics of that group. There's three people. I can't make them stand in for all the people who used my web search. All right, so what I probably want to do is keep Google as a category. Clearly, lots of people use it. Keep Bing as a category, clearly lots of people use it, and Yahoo Search. And probably subsume everyone else into an other category um, because they use less common search engines. Um, and then most people who say they none, they don't use any regularly, or they don't know. And I need to make some decisions about them. Um, I might want to just make a none slash don't know category here. Um, that might be something useful. People who refused are a little bit different, like we just don't really have data on them, but maybe we want to know who just does not know which search engine they use most often. And um, that might be in interesting information for us. So what I want to do is to figure out how these are all coded over here. So I'm going to keep track of the fact that Google is one, Bing is two, Yahoo search is three, all of my other search um, engines are 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 96. And then there's people who say none and don't know. Maybe I'll make a category for them. And I want to make sure to move refused into missing. So I'm going to go up to data and then again recode into different variables. We always use recode into different variables. I need to tell um, SPSS which variable I'm trying to transform, mm, which I think is this one right here. And I'm going to give it a new name. So search engine 2. And I'm going to go and tell SPSS what old and new values. So the truth is that a lot of the, uh, the values like 1, 2, and 3, I want them to stay the same. So Google will still be 1, Bing will still be 2, Yahoo will still be 3. It's just um, these other categories that I need to put in one group. So I'm going to tell um, SPSS that I want anyone who answered 4 to 96, which is a little bit ridiculous, it's just like 4 through 7 and then the next number is 96. I'm going to make all of those 4. All right, so I'm combining all of those other categories into one. And then I also want to combine people who answered 97 and 98 into this category 5, which is people who said none or they don't know. And I want to make 98, we can do that here, I want to make it system missing. I also can just put it into the missing values. And all other values, so 1, 2, and 3, I can just tell them, just copy the old values. 
So what I really did here was just combine some of the, the, the options and leave some of them the same. And let's see how that turns out. Right. So I'm going to want to find the variable here at the very bottom. Oh, what's going on? It gets a little pixelated, apparently. Let's see if this helps. Okay, there it is. And I'm going to tell SPSS that one is still Google. And I can copy this from the other um, entry if I want. Google 2 is still Bing. 3 is still Yahoo. But 4 now is all of the other search engines. And 5 is now people who said none and don't know. And when you're doing this recoding, don't try to memorize these in your head. Um, you really should be writing them down on paper next to you. So now, again, I always have to find the new variable at the very bottom. I'm going to put it over here and see what it looks like. This is my way of double checking to make sure that the numbers look right. Right, so I can compare this to my other frequency distribution up here to see if it makes sense. And it looks like it makes a lot of sense. Right? So this will be much easier to analyze. I can take this variable, this recoded variable, and I can put it into a cross tab. And there'll be few enough categories um, that, that I can analyze this.